The Australian and Singapore stock markets have unveiled a bold plan to boost their financial firepower and take a bigger role on the world stage. They've outlined an $8 billion merger proposal in which the Singapore exchange will take over its Australian counterpart. It'll create one of the biggest stock markets in the world and give Australia a much stronger economic foothold in Asia. But there are many regulatory hurdles to jump before the deal can go ahead. More from finance reporter Simon Pallon. It's a friendly deal that would create the world's fifth largest stock exchange operator. And we believe the new group we endeavour to create will be a very competitive global exchange force to be reckoned with. The Singapore exchange has offered $8.4 billion to buy the Australian stock exchange. We think that this is a strong combination and I think one plus one becomes definitely four by bringing these two companies together. Local investors welcomed the offer with ASX shares closing 19% higher. Well, I think it's a great deal for shareholders. I mean, the stock was trading at $30 not that long ago, so this effectively values the stock at $48. The proposal could give local investors better access to high-growth Asian markets. We will make it so much easier. We will lower the cost for investors in Australia. Both the ASX and the Singapore Exchange would remain locally listed and regulated entities. But there are concerns about the ASX ownership going offshore, especially with its prospective buyer being almost a quarter owned by the Singaporean government. The question has to be asked, is this in the national interest for the, the Australian Stock Exchange to, you know, a key asset to go into um, offshore hands. The proposal still needs approval from shareholders and regulators in both countries, but informal discussions with authorities appear encouraging. If they had been negative in connotation, Magnus and I wouldn't be sitting here today. Analysts say any merger would help the Australian Stock Exchange defend itself from new competitive threats. The federal government is expected to begin allowing foreign exchanges to operate in Australia. It's all part of Canberra's plan to make Sydney a financial hub for the Asia-Pacific region. The competition regulator, the ACCC, has effectively given a thumbs up to the ASX deal, saying it doesn't see any major concerns. Simon Pallon, ABC News.